In today's world, it's not enough to just be able to play and record your gameplay videos. You would have to learn how to edit videos, create fancy effects, learn tricks, plan ahead and publish your gameplays. And by the time you get there, well, others are already three steps ahead. But what if there was a way to have it all at the tip of your hand, to go from 0 to 100 in a matter of seconds? Well, let me introduce you to Wondershare's demo creator. Welcome back everybody, let's have a look at Wondershare Demo Creator and how to record your games. The link to download the program is in the video description as well as in the comments. Once you go through the download and installation process, you will be greeted with a screen that asks you to choose your preferences. What will you be using Demo Creator for? I chose tutorials and gameplay videos. After that you are greeted with a home screen and this is where you choose what you want to do. You can actually start a new recording project, record your screen, record your game, which is the feature I will be focusing on in this video. After opening the game record mode, you will be greeted with a toolbar. First thing I want to do is click on the settings button. Let's take a look at some settings and adjust them. One setting you might want to enable is enable GPU acceleration for recording because recording might be faster and smoother. Then I click on recorder and here I can actually choose the frame rate for the game mode. Depending on the game you want to choose 30, 60 or maybe 120. And also I can choose the encoder as well as the quality which I'm going to set to high. You also have some camera settings as well as some shortcut adjustments. Now the game I chose to record is indie game called Simulation Theory. This will put this recorder to the test because not many recorders can record indie games. So I open up the game and under game mode I can click select the game and see it on the list. I choose the game and I click OK button. You will notice that the game mode icon will now change to game that I am actually running at this moment. Next we can adjust the system audio which is the game recording. You can see the volume bar moving which actually indicates that the game will be recorded. Also, I can turn on the microphone as well as check its volume bar. As you can see when I'm speaking, the volume bar is moving, which once again indicates that the microphone will be recorded. Finally, I can record my webcam. Now, since I don't actually have a webcam, I will be using an alternative program. And the great thing about this is as soon as I pick the camera source, the program automatically opens up, which is great. I don't have to open it manually. Recording with webcam gives you a couple of very useful features to make it a circle or a square recording and also use the AI technology to remove the background automatically which surprised me actually. I've never seen this with the recorders before and you can also mirror your camera by the way. One great thing about recording your web camera is you don't actually have to position it anywhere because after the recording you can edit the position of the camera in the editor itself. So I will go ahead and play the game a little bit and record it so I can show you guys how it works. After I stop the recording, the Wondershare Demo Creator Editor automatically opens up and loads my recording into the timeline. First thing you're noticing is, where is the webcam? Well, let's zoom out of the preview and position the webcam into the frame. 
to run you down through the editor, this program has it all. If you take a look at the upper left corner, you have libraries, effects, transitions, captions, stickers, and even an effects store with a bunch of packages that you can utilize to create introductions very fast, outros, bunch of things that you would need to make great YouTube videos. When I was starting out, it took me a while to actually find the intro, let alone the outro and maybe notifications to subscribe and stuff like that. And don't get me started with transitions, I had none of those. But this program brings everything to you at the tip of your finger. Everything is there, you don't have to look for anything. Take a look at this crazy, I believe this is called plexus effect or something like that. It looks absolutely beautiful. Creating your own intro is super fast. In the effects store, find the introduction pack that you want. For example, I chose game introduction pack and here is the intro template. I drag it in, I change the title and look at this. Instantly, I have my very own intro. After you finish editing your video, you can click the export button in the top left corner and then you can choose two options. Let's first start with brand settings. This allows you to add a text or an image watermark to your video. Why is this useful? Well, everybody is going to know who actually made the video and nobody can steal your video. This is a common occurrence on the internet. People just download your video and re-upload it to their own channels. But like this, everybody is going to know that this is your video. After you are done, you can click on export to export this video and you can choose to export it to the PC, YouTube or even Demo Air. I will choose my PC, in this case choose the MP4 format, give the project a name, the directory I'm gonna leave it as a default one but you can change it and I'm also gonna choose the high preset but you can also click on settings and manually adjust all these settings but I'm gonna leave them as they are because I'm satisfied and I can click the export button. Then the exporting process starts, you can see how much time is left. Once the exporting is finished, you get the sound notification and you can click the open folder button and play and preview your video. So if you like what you see, check out the link in the video description, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.